Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to Harmony and Motion Feng Shui. Today you're watching Getting the Most Out of a Feng Shui Consultation, 10 Tips to a Great Session. Once you have found a Feng Shui consultant to work with, whether myself or anyone else, there are several things you can do in order to have a better experience during your Feng Shui consultant's visit to your home or office. And if you are still at the stage of looking for someone to hire, I have some references at the end of the video I'll share. So here we go. Number one, breathing room. Having the day flow easily and relaxed is key. Do not try and squeeze in a feng shui consultation appointment. Do try and choose a day that you have completely free or at least a good portion of it. Avoid anything on the back end that you have to rush out to so you're not watching the clock every 10 minutes. On the flip side, don't just breeze in in a flurried state to start. How you approach your appointment time is an indication of how the energy is already flowing in your environment and life. The first step to creating good feng shui is an easy flowing appointment. Number two, prepare your questions. Write down ahead of time any questions you have. It's okay if you don't have any to start, things will naturally come up during the consultation, but if something's been lingering on your mind for a while, be sure to jot it down. Also, if you're planning any future remodeling, decorating, or construction projects, it's important to share them and ask questions relating to ideas on what you wish to do. If you happen to have any sketches, blueprints, or photos of your ideas, even better. Number three, empty your closet. No, not literally, but if you have anything, for example, like artwork that's been packed away in the back of a closet for a long time that you've been thinking about hanging again, get them out. Have them handy somewhere so that your consultant can look through them and easily advise you where those items might support you best. Number four, eat. Consultations can sometimes take several hours, depending on the size of your home or office, and it's all about shifting the energy in your life, so you want to make sure to have a hearty breakfast or solid lunch before your appointment time so you are well grounded. If you need to sit down at any time during the process to have a snack or go get a drink, it's absolutely okay to do so. Your consultant won't mind at all and will be happy you are energetically choosing to care for yourself. Number five, complete your paperwork. Each consultant works differently in what they require you to have ready before or at your consultation with regards to surveys, floor plans, or red envelopes. Make sure you have everything done ahead of time and try not to leave it to 10 minutes before they are about to knock on your front door. Remember, the way you approach this is an indication of the current energy flow, so you can begin to get things flowing smoothly by being prepared. Number six, fees and payment. A thorough feng shui consultation is truly an investment in your home and your life. Always honor and value your consultant's fee. Be genuine and realistic with your financial concerns and talk with them ahead of time about it. Be sure to ask how a consultant accepts payments, cash, checks, or credit cards, and communicate your preference so energy flows easily at the conclusion of your appointment. Also, be sure to ask if that consultant honors the red envelope tradition and what's involved so you can have those ready. Number seven, do not clean. Okay, you can wash the dishes in the sink if you want, or maybe make the bed, but beyond that, do not go to any extra lengths to spruce things up or clean. It is important that a consultant see your space as it naturally exists on a day-to-day -day basis to evaluate energy patterns and assist you best. Number eight, it's not a party. So don't invite your friends and relatives. While it may sound like a good idea to have your best friend or a relative over to do it with you, it can sometimes offset the true energy of what shifts need to be made and their timing. Your space is personal to you and it's important that it's only your energy present and whoever actually lives in the house, of course. Check with your consultant beforehand about the best timing if you have children, as well as their policies if you want to have anyone else there, including other service professionals like an interior designer who does not actually live in the house. Number nine, rest after. There's a lot of information and insight imparted to you during a consultation, and it takes time to process and take it all in. Leaving some time to just sit and relax right after an appointment is a good idea. Also, whether you actually made any physical changes to your home on the day of your appointment or not, the energy is already beginning to shift. It can sometimes be very normal to feel a little tired the next day, so give yourself permission to sleep in or rest if you need it. Number 10, assess and evaluate. The effectiveness of a consultation has everything to do with your awareness of the relationship between your home and your life. It is important to pay attention to the details, both seen and unseen. It might not happen overnight, though in some cases it can, 
but after a few days, weeks, or a few short months, take notice of the relationship between any changes you made in your home and anything happening in your life. From small subtle shifts to over the top results, these are the indications of good feng shui at work for you. Now that you're prepared with insights on how to have a smooth flowing feng shui consultation and get the most out of it, it's time to just sit back and relax, have a cup of tea, and start to envision a home filled with peace and harmony. I wish you much luck in your feng shui endeavors. If you are still looking for someone to hire, please see the comment box below for a link to my article on the top 10 tips for hiring the right feng shui consultant for you. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit my website at harmonyinmotion.com. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.